good morning friends today i want to learn you something about the construction industries uh, which is where i am since last 18 years uh, this is called uh, mep so yeah, the people who are engineers who are on the already in this field they are aware about the subjects in the uh, mecha electromechanical field so they may aware about uh, what is mechanical electrical activities to be conducted in the construction industry as i am in this field so i i i, I may think that uh, people who are already uh, <coughs> suffering in the initial stage of their life it i, I can may put some value add some value to them so that they can make strategy uh, in their future birth how to they will come up all those struggles and how to see the future so as we all are engineers, <coughs> let's say uh, I give you an example. Let's say uh, you are an electrical engineer, and electrical, and you, and you come to the construction industry first time. So uh, you have a obviously bookish knowledge about the electrical system. You know how to generate electricity and what is the transmission system, what is the distribution system, and all. And uh, in generation system also, you know how to generate, there is a different type of generation system, the hydro system, the nuclear system and the <coughs> and uh, this uh, transmission lines also you are aware about it, the distribution system also you are aware about it. So what is required in uh, construction, you are, you are coming to a building, so you, let's say it's a high rise building or a hospital or a hotel. So what you'll do there? You 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 are not uh, doing the manufacturing the electricity. It is already already there in the substation, and you have to tap tap off and uh, put the electricity inside the building. So you have to design, you have to install the entire electrical system in a building. So so you have you need some basic idea what is electric electrical system that you know. From book but how to uh, implement all those activities and what are the activities you don't know about anything about the uh, in, in this uh, about it so before coming to the field you may develop yourself with some sort of extra uh, skill uh, you, may, you may you may you may develop uh, what are the activities followed in the construction industry. I am giving an example of electrical system right now is the how to implement the electrical system in a building. So there is this other other, other uh, engineering field is there mechanical, plumbing, civil and all. So today I just uh, brief you about the electrical system uh, which is going to be used for the construction industry and um, the people who are already in this field they may very much aware about it and uh, the freshers i am talking about the freshers who are just newcomers and the people who are having a two three years or four year four five years experience maybe it will be helpful for them so as i told already that electrical system is the uh, you know, generation system is there there is a many kind of equipment you we have already seen in the book not may not be phys uh, physically have seen maybe some of you when you are going on to the industrial training from college you may be uh, seen some of the things for one or two days <coughs> sorry so what are the activities involved in the construction industry first uh, uh, there, there is a project uh, what, what do we do in the construction we are we are not physically doing anything we are not physically making anything, you are not physically work anything, but all the management from day one as you are engineer, you are not a, uh, the, I mean I can say uh, as a raw workman, so we are doing uh, physically every activities, so there is a, there is a mental activity you have to do only, so <coughs> not mental, this is a managerial, you have to develop your managerial skill. 
So it's all about the project management. There is a project, there is a building project. So that project you have to uh, uh, manage in a proper way, proper manner. So that end of the day, your company will get a output or end of the day, the project has to be complete in a uh, scheduled time. So first you have to follow that there is a many things is there, many activities are there. So it will take maybe five hours, six hours to I if we'll tell everything in all the nitty So just within the I have to complete it by 10 minutes uh, for this particular series one in my journey. Because I have to I have to deliver to you people from my experience so that it will be helpful for you. Uh, you can develop yourself accordingly. Maybe uh, the people who are coming uh, uh, now from colleges, they already have many things, but still were not aware about it. And this is the very basics I'm telling. It's not in advanced things I'm telling now. I'll, I'll come to uh, in my next videos, in the successive videos, so that you uh, all the details about, about the other things also. Okay. So first, if you come to, I just give an example for you to complete electrical activity in a building. So from where you want to start if you're a newcomer. So first when you introduce in the company and the first day if you come to the field, uh, if you come to the field and then immediately you may be introduced with all your colleagues and the seniors and all, and you and the, the, your boss will give you given your task. So whatever the task given to you, you need to, what are the sequential activities you need to follow? Just focus on that, what I'm telling. That day one, you have to start uh, study first. You study and learn the things, learn the project. So study, what are the things you need to learn or study? The um, contract documents. The contract documents about the project. <clears throat> what is the contract document? Where are the terms, conditions, there is general conditions, there is a special conditions, everything is mentioned including the tender uh, activities, tender drawings. And there is a, it will be defined the scope and the, uh, the scope about the project, how big it is, what is the value of the project and what is the milestone date. Milestone date means is a is stages of the completion dates. Uh, means when the building are going to be start, it may be start from the plinth level. So plinth, then, then foundation, it's called footing then the column, then the slab, then the wall, it will go up and accordingly your uh, electrical activity has to be start. They say there is a many activities are there, we will come, to, uh, come in later stage, what are the activities, I will define you properly. So you have to study first the tender drawing, contract documents and the different terms and conditions so that you can accustom the system or accustom of the project and what, whatever the Mm. You can highlight all those, you can put some of the uh, special terms like payment terms, the milestone dates in your notebook so, so that you can remember every time until completion of the project. Next, what is the activity? The drawing. Drawing, uh, if you have in house facility in your company, they may prepare the drawing or the consultant has to prepare the drawing. Tender drawing based on the tender drawing, detailed design has to be prepared. Detailed in tender drawing, only the basic things will be there. The layout. Suppose there is a substation, 11 kb substation, from 11 kb substation to inside the building, uh, there is a route, cable route is there, and further distribution system mentioned in, in some, uh, it is called single line diagram, and not so much details inside, like where the switch has to be fixed, what is the uh, uh, height of the switch and all, what is the DB, what is the distribution board, uh, from where cable through will run, how, what is the cable distribution, wiring system, lights and all. So all the details will come in the detailed design. <coughs> so designer has to prepare the detailed design and the BOQ is a bill of quantity. So the quantity quantification has to be finalized, otherwise uh, 
you cannot control and the monitor of the system. So why it is required design and BOQ because you have to finalize a vendor. So whose job it is? There will be a, there will be a procurement department in your company. They have to finalize the vendor. So electrical vendor either you have to go through the back to back means entire electrical uh, work. Your company may given to a vendor who is already aware about this field and they may take all the responsibilities from the supply of the material, installation and the testing and commissioning part and to hand over. So after selection of the vendor, not selection of the vendor, before selection of the vendor, there is a many activities was involved. Procurement team has to go through all this activity. First of all, th there will be a technical discussion with all the individual vendors. They have to raise the um, request for quotation. So after submission of the quotation, procurement team and technical team jointly discuss all the line items, all the line items. And accordingly, they have to finalize the <coughs> rate and the overall price based on the budget. So what is budget? There is a vast discussion is there each and every activity have a, uh, a huge details. So we, we cannot go with all those details right now. So just uh, I'm giving you the brief about how to start a project and how to implement, how to complete that. Uh, there is a thing. So we came, we, where we are now, we are in the procurement. So in procurement, uh, the vendor selection is done. Then um, vendor has to be bold and they need to start the work. So before starting the work, you need to uh, arrange a kickoff meeting. In kickoff meeting, vendor has to commit the many things like when he will mobilize his team, when he will submit the technical data sheet, technical documents and uh, this uh, material uh, mobilization in the manpower mobilization we have to submit certain uh, plans certain deliverables like quality plan hsc plan and this methodology of the individual items the how to inst how to install how to erect and the testing commissioning plan uh, how to uh, do, uh, do that testings for individual equipments or individual items. They have to define everything. Uh, so we'll give them a timeline, maybe 15 days or one month or something like that, based on our schedule. And they have to submit and all those activities has to be vetted through consultant. And if you are working in a contractor site, so it has to be vetted through your contract um, client. So after getting the confirmation or the approval from them, client, or who is the uh, own, owning this uh, entire building. Then the next thing, <coughs> the material supply, the material supply and the installation activity need to start. So there is a various phases is there. So before starting the activity, you need to plan, you need to make a schedule, micro schedule, and you have to track the schedule and the, as per the deadline given by vendors and the client. So that is the main activity as a electrical engineer or mechanical engineer or civil engineer have to do to complete the project as per the scheduled as per the specified timeline. So you have to control and monitor system is very, uh, there is a various method that also I will discuss later stage that is a part of the project management how to manage the project and deliver it. So I, 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 after the installation, then there is a certain period will come, you need to test all the systems like DG, transformer, as the entire electrical system, you have to charge it. And when every, every, everybody will be satisfied that everything is charged, there is no errors, nothing is there. Then the client or who may uh, ever is the owner of the company, owner of this building, they need to take the handover from the from you. So this is then the whole 
handover system will start. This it is called handover and taking over. So all the system to handover, there is a big documentation process is there. Separately, I will discuss that also. So there is a many uh, the, after completion of the drawings, then you have to make the as bill drawing. You have to make the operation maintenance manual. There is an asset list. So many other activities, ten to twelve activities are there. So you have to follow. Uh, those activities, which all the de all all those things was def de uh, already defined in the contract document, so you follow that, and accordingly you hand over the system to client, and you'll get the uh, if you from the client side, so you may hand over to the system to the your, to your operation team, and operation team also take uh, the different licenses from governing license. From government authorities like the occupation certificate, the fire NOC, and the DG license, the leaf license, and the STV license. So, after getting all the things all are placed, then the building should be operational. So, this is a normal process for a construction activity in electrical system. The same way we'll discuss about the other system in the next video so hope hope i hope that it is helpful for you people uh, if you like it please subscribe my channel and you will get more video latest stage thank you